Hi all, today we are going to discuss about one of the most important applications of interference in thin film that is anti-reflecting films or AR coatings. In the optical instruments like a microscopes, telescopes and cameras, we are using multiple lenses. When the light is incident on the surface of these lenses, a part of the light energy is reflected. When there are more surfaces in such optical instruments, the loss of light energy due to reflection will be large. Then the quality of the image produced will be poor. In solar cell, we are using sunlight. Here, the incident light energy is converting into electrical energy. If the loss of light energy due to reflection is large, that will lead to less production of electrical energy. To avoid such a reflective loss of light energy, we can coat the surface of these devices with a thin transparent material of suitable refractive index and at a specific thickness. Such films are known as anti-reflecting films or AR coatings. So, anti-reflecting film is a thin transparent coating on a surface in order to suppress the reflection from that surface. It was first invented by an Ukrainian physicist Alexander Smakula in 1935. Now we can see the theory behind the anti-reflecting films. Here, an AR film of refractive index mu f is coated over a glass surface of refractive index mu g. Here, the refractive index of film is less than the refractive index of the glass surface. The outer environment is air. So, here mu air less than mu film less than mu glass. When the light is incident, a part of the light is getting reflected from the top surface of the AR film and a part which is getting reflected from the bottom surface of this film. So the first and the second light ray which are getting reflected from the top and bottom surface of this AR film will superimpose each other and it will produce interference. Now to minimize the reflection here, we want constructive interference or destructive interference definitely we want a destructive interference to produce a destructive interference in this reflector system the ar film must obey some conditions there are two conditions here the first condition is phase condition that is the waves reflected from top and bottom surface are in opposite phase that is the first and the second light ray must be in opposite phase then only it will produce destructive interference the second condition is amplitude conditions that is the waves have equal amplitude now using this phase condition we can derive an expression for the thickness required for this ar film in the previous videos of interference in thin film, we have derived an expression for the optical path difference between the light reflected from the top and bottom surface of that film. What is that optical path difference? Delta equal to 2 mu t cos r. Here, mu is the refractive index of the film. Here, it is mu f. T is the thickness of the film cos r. R is the angle of reflection. Here we have to check whether any phase change occurs at the top and bottom surface due to Stokes law. What is Stokes law? When the light is reflected at the rarer to denser boundary, the light ray undergoes a phase change of pi, thereby a path change of lambda by 2. Here check the top surface of the film. What is the top surface of film that is air to film boundary that is mu air to mu film mu air is less than mu film that is at the top surface of the film the light is reflected at the rarer to denser boundary so there will be a phase change of pi occurs at the top surface if there is a phase change of pi occurs, that will correspond to a 
path change of lambda by 2. So, here we have to consider that correction plus or minus lambda by 2. Now, check the bottom surface of the film. The bottom surface of the film is from film to glass boundary. The film refractive index is less than the glass refractive index. So, again at the bottom surface of the film also, the light is reflected from the rarer to denser boundary. So, again there will be a phase change of pi and thereby a path correction of lambda by 2 occurs at the bottom surface too. So, the complete path difference will be u mu f t cos r plus or minus lambda. The addition or subtraction of a full wave lambda does not affect the original phase relation. That means here we can neglect this plus or minus lambda. Then the path difference expression become 2 mu f t cos r. Now if we consider the normal incidence of light, the cos r expression become 1. Why? At the normal incidence of light, angle of refraction is 0 and cos r become 1. So what will be the final path difference? That is delta is equal to 2 mu f t. Now, to minimize the reflection, that is to suppress the reflection in the reflected system, we want which interference? Destructive interference. For destructive interference, this path difference must be an odd multiple of lambda by 2. So, for destructive interference, the path difference delta must be an odd multiple of lambda by 2. Odd multiple means 2m plus 1 or 2m minus 1. So, delta that is 2 mu f t is equal to 2m plus or minus 1 lambda by 2. Now, to find out the minimum thickness of this AR film, this m value should be minimum. So, for minimum thickness, this expression become 2 mu f t minimum equal to this 2m plus or minus 1 must be a minimum value. Minimum value is 1. So, this 2 mu f t minimum is equal to lambda by 2. The minimum value of 2m plus 1 or minus 1 must be 1. If it is 2m plus 1, m equal to 0, then 2m plus 1 is 1. If we are using 2m minus 1, then m equal to 1, then 2 into 1 minus 1, that is also 1. So, the minimum thickness we can obtain by giving the minimum value due to this 2m plus or minus 1, that is 1. So, 2 mu f t minimum equal equal to lambda by 2 or we can write it as mu f t minimum is equal to lambda by 4. So, what is this mu f t minimum? A thickness which is multiplied by the refractive index of the film that is known as optical thickness. So, one of the conditions for the thickness of the AR film is the optical thickness of the AR film must be one quarter of the wavelength of light we are using. That means T minimum is equal to lambda by 4 mu f. So, to obtain the destructive interference, that is to suppress the reflection in the reflector system, this AR film must have a minimum thickness that is equal to lambda by 4 mu f and also this mu film must be less than mu glass. Here there is one more condition that is amplitude condition, that is waves have equal amplitude. If we consider the electric field components of this light reflected from the top and bottom surface, this E1 equal to E2. One is the light ray reflected from the top surface and two is the light ray reflected from the bottom surface. We can write this E1 and E2 in terms of the refractive index using Fresnel equations. The E1 is the light reflected from the top surface. At the top surface, the refractive index involved are air and film. We can write this E1 as mu f minus mu a divided by mu f plus mu a all square. Similarly, E2 is the light reflected from the bottom surface. Here at the bottom surface, the involved refractive index are mu f and mu g. We can write E2 as mu g minus 
mu f divided by mu g plus mu f square. On taking the square root and rearranging, we will get the expression for the refractive index of the film. On taking the square root and on cross multiplying, we will get mu g plus mu f into mu f minus mu a is equal to mu g minus mu f into mu f plus mu a. What is this mu a that is refractive index of air that is equal to 1? So this will become 1. Here it is 1. So on rearranging this, mu g mu f plus mu f square minus mu g minus mu f equal to mu g mu f plus mu g minus mu f square minus mu f. This mu g mu f mu g mu f will cancel. This mu f square and minus mu f square become 2 mu f square and this minus mu f minus mu f will cancel and we will get it as 2 mu g. So this minus mu g will go to that side. So mu g plus mu g 2 mu g or 2 2 will cancel and we will get a mu f square is equal to mu g or we can write it as mu f equal to root mu g. So using the amplitude condition that is the waves have equal amplitude we obtain the expression for the refractive index of the film as the square root of the refractive index of the glass substrate. If we consider a glass substrate of refractive index 1.5 its square root is 1.22 the materials which have refractive index close to these values are magnesium fluoride and cryolite. Apart from these conditions the materials must be durable it must be well adhered to the surface of the glass substrate it must be scratch free therefore these two materials magnesium fluoride and cryolite magnesium fluoride is cheaper in comparison with the cryolite and it is widely used for the production of the ar film so for a film to act as an ar film the thickness must be equal to lambda by 4 mu f and its refractive index must be less than the refractive index of the glass substrate so that's all about the anti reflecting film so anti reflecting film is a thin transparent coating on the surfaces of the optical devices to suppress the reflection and to increase the efficiency of that device Thank you. Bye-bye.